When it comes to F1, you can bet your last chocolate bar on two things. Heart-pounding racing action and post-race partying that would make even a disco ball jealous. Picture this. Yacht bashes, penthouse soirees. The F1 scene pulls in A-listers like magnets to metal. The parties and events are so exclusive, they turn race weekends into hotter spectacles than a revved-up engine. Get ready, folks, because we're about to embark on a journey into a world of champagne showers, spotting celebrities like playing Where's Waldo, and enough caviar to keep a whole pit crew happily munching. Become a part of our racing community. Subscribe now and click the bell for the latest on F1. Las Vegas Grand Prix Las Vegas is a neon oasis where desert dust dances with dazzling dreams. It's the land of excesses and the rich, a usual suspect for high-profile parties. At the first-ever Heineken Silver Las Vegas Grand Prix, legions of fans descended upon the entertainment capital of the world for a week-long extravaganza, featuring parties, dinners, concerts, and, of course, heart-pounding racing action. It was a cocktail of adrenaline and entertainment served with a side of neon glamour. The November 2023 event saw David Beckham and Shaquille O'Neal mingle freely with guests. Others that made up the elite crowd include Kylie Minogue who performed at Amber Lounge's after party, Steve Aoki, and Keith Urban. The Venetian resort where Kylie Minogue performed was attended by the A-listers and was termed as the the world's most exclusive race after party. Typical Las Vegas the opening ceremony saw several big names such as John Legend, Keith Urban, and Swedish House Mafia take the stage. It was also the day that the highly successful DJ and producer Jack Daniels was throwing an exclusive party only attended by the elites in the music industry, motorsports, and entertainment. Monaco Magic, where millionaires and Ferraris collide. Ah, Monaco, the Monte Carlo mecca of millionaires and metal monsters, the F1s. Monaco was part of the inaugural F1 championship in 1950, making it one of the sport's oldest continuously run races. This rich history adds a layer of prestige and tradition to the event. Its casinos, luxury yachts, and celebrity residents also make it a magnet for the who is who around the world. In Monaco, yachts float like oversized champagne flutes, their hulls catching the sunset like spilled bubbles. Over the years, the world's elite have made the beautiful Mediterranean island a boating paradise as much as it's about F1 racing. You'll see colossal superyachts flaunting their swanky spots with the rear end pointed toward the racetrack. It's a show-stopping sight, adding an extra layer of dazzle to witnessing the planet's speediest cars tearing through Monaco's narrow lanes. Both on the asphalt and off, there's a feast for the eyes. Those boat parking spots, along with the upper decks of those mega yachts, offer the ideal perch to catch a slice of the race action. They double as a makeshift display for boat buffs to spy on who's who and what's what in town for the weekend. With a whopping 760 spots up for grabs near the racetrack, the cheapest ones go for about $3,800 a night. But if you're aiming for a guaranteed front row seat to the racing or need a hefty spot for a colossal boat, be ready to splash out up to $110,000 a night. In Monaco, the air vibrates with the high-octane hum of engines and the low murmur of gossip. The harbor sparkles like a billion scattered jewels, each reflecting the faces of A-listers who've flown in on private jets. In 2021, Erling Haaland flew into Monaco and watched F1 in a luxury yacht. F1 drivers Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso own private jets and have occasionally flown into the island for parties and events and have others in the industry. The Monaco sunset paints the sky in fiery hues, morphing the Grand Prix circuit into a glittering ribbon for the night's main event, the Amber Lounge Soiree. Celebrities mingle with F1 royalty, the air thick with perfume and pheromones, the laughter contagious as the engine roars. Lewis Hamilton might be spotted sipping soda at the pool bar, dreaming of future glories. It's a place where every corner hides a story, every conversation a potential headline, and every champagne flute a toast to the intoxicating mix of speed, wealth, and glamour that is Monaco magic. Miami mayhem, sunshine, speed, and senoritas. Sun-kissed sand, asphalt sizzling like chorizo on a grill, and the air vibrating with the bass of a thousand fiestas. Welcome to Miami mayhem, the racetrack turned Roomba of F1 weekends. 
Forget Monaco's stuffy yachts and Monte Carlo's champagne snobs. This is where bikinis meet pit lanes. And the only thing tighter than a championship race is your mojito muddler. Music spills from every open-air bar, a chaotic symphony of reggaeton beats and pulsating house, each note competing with the roar of F1 engines echoing in the distance. For example, the fountain blow went all out for the first-ever Formula One weekend in Miami. This three-night bash at the famous beachfront hotel was the hottest spot in town. In a collabo with Uncommon Events, The Creative, and Capture Studios, they lined up a concert series that's seriously lit. David Guetta, Calvin Harris, Claptone, Medusa, Vintage Culture, Loud Luxury, Morton, DJ Ruckus, Plastic Funk, and more took the stage. Now, for the tickets, regular ones were $300 each, but if you were feeling a bit fancy, there were VIP packages and private cabanas up for grabs. Prices? Well, they range from $5,000 to a whopping $55,000. The night heats up even further with exclusive parties hosted by F1 sponsors and teams. This is where deals are struck as quickly as salsa steps, where rumors swirl like the smoke from a Cuban cigar, and where the next big sponsorship contract might be signed on a cocktail napkin splashed with passion fruit margarita. Singapore Spice – Neon Nights and Culinary Delights Forget the roar of engines and the smell of burnt rubber. In Singapore, the F1 weekend symphony is composed of sizzling wok flames and the clinking of chopsticks. This is no ordinary racetrack, my friends. This is a neon-lit labyrinth where Michelin-starred feasts compete with skyscraper sky shows for your attention, and street food stalls serve up dumplings tastier than a podium finish. The swankiest party in town was hosted by Amber Lounge to celebrate 15 years of glam at F1 Singapore. This after-party, hailed as the world's most exclusive, was making a grand return to its original hotspot at Millennia Walk. Imagine a custom-built marquee decked out with dazzling lights, setting the stage for a night of pure style. International DJs were dropping beats, and there was even jaw-dropping aerial and Cirque-inspired entertainment. The real cherry on top? Bottle presentations that make you go, wow! All of this went down on September 16th and 17th, starting from 10 p.m. until the party gods called it a night. The same year, they spiced things up by crowning Miss Universe Singapore and Miss Universe Australia doing the honors. After the crowning, the contestants strutted their stuff at the after party, adding a dash of glamour to the F1 Singapore race festivities. Now brace yourself for the guest list. We're talking about the creme de la creme of the global F1 scene. Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Daniel Ricciardo, Sebastian Vettel, Max Verstappen, George Russell, Carlos Sainz, Alex Albon, Nick DeVries, and even Harry Styles have graced past editions. So, you never know who'll be your dance buddy at the next Singapore Grand Prix after party. And how much for the ticket to this exclusive shindig? Individual passes started at $800 for Saturday and $1,200 for Sunday. Some went all out with table packages, cocktail tables from $3,000 on Saturday and $4,000 on Sunday for four persons. Deluxe tables were starting from $6,000 on Saturday and $7,800 on Sunday. And if you felt VIP, tables started from $16,800 for eight persons and came with free flow champagne, vodka, selected free flow house pours, and unlimited table service. It's a price tag fit for the F1 royalty. The Mandala Mansion opened its doors for the F1 Singapore weekend on September 16th and 17. From 7 p.m. till the stars came out, the fans were in for a treat. We're talking about a mega-live broadcast of the Singapore Grand Prix action and a front-row seat to the dazzling firework display during the victory lap. And guess what? Everyone was soaking in all this glory while being pampered by the Mandala Club and the culinary maestros at Mandarin Oriental Singapore. As if that's not enough, the party didn't stop when the race was done. Live DJs kept the vibe alive into the wee hours of the night. A ticket for one fabulous night was $1,188 for Saturday and $1,388 for Sunday. But hey, why settle for one night of glitz when you can have it all? A ticket for both nights cost $2,288. But don't let the white tablecloths fool you, Singapore's F1 feast is just as thrilling on the street. There's the bustling Chinatown, 
where Hawker stalls overflow with fragrant satay skewers and chili crab claws that will make your eyes water with delight. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. This is where the soul of Singapore simmered in every steaming broth, where flavors explode like champagne corks at a podium celebration. Rooftop bars seem to float amongst the stars, offering cocktails infused with local spices and views that are more breathtaking than a pole position start. Imagine after dark dim sum parties served in opulent private rooms, where laughter rings louder than the echoes of the cheering crowd, and stories flow as freely as the jasmine tea. And of course, let's not forget the cultural cornucopia that awaits. Witness intricate dragon dances that weave through the streets, their scales shimmering like polished trophies. Explore hidden temples bathed in the glow of incense, their serenity a welcome respite from the neon frenzy. This is a city where ancient traditions coexist with futuristic skylines, where every turn offers a new sensory adventure. So there you have it, a glimpse into the dazzling world of F1 after dark. It's a place where the Champagne flows faster than the cars, the connections are as valuable as gold, and the stories are wilder than a multi-car crash on the first corner. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Like, comment, and join our community to share your passion for the fast-paced world of Formula One.